Hardness testing is one of the oldest and most commonly applied inspection methods for metallic materials. One reason for this is that hardness itself is a useful material parameter. Another reason is that there are more or less direct relationships between hardness and other important material properties that are much more difficult to measure directly, such as tensile strength, yield strength or fatigue behaviour. These are the different parts and functions of the instrument. The USB socket, the USB cover, the impact body, the support ring, the finger grip, the unit display, the housing, cancel function key, feed function key, menu function key, guide tube and charging tube. The portable metal hardness testers Ecotip Bambino and Ecotip Piccolo with additional functions are based on the Lieb rebound method, which was invented by Mr. Lieb and Dr. Brandestini at Prosec. The hardness value is calculated from comparing the energy of an impact body before and after impacting on a sample. This energy quotient is delivered in the hardness unit HL, a higher value means that the impact body rebounds faster and that the material is harder. Before using the instrument, please make sure the battery is charged. When fully loaded, you can make at least 20,000 measurements. To turn the instrument on, press any key. When you use the instrument for the first time, the Lieb is the default hardness scale. Before testing your sample, please perform 10 measurements on the Echo Tip test block. Make sure it is on a stable surface and free of vibrations. The test block, like any other sample, should be clean and dry. Perform a loading movement. Make sure you don't measure on the same spot more than once. After the tenth measurement, press the right key to display the average value. The measured average should be in alignment with the calibration value that is engraved on the test block. To understand how to operate the Ecotip Piccolo, have a look at the following graphic. As you can see, there are four operating levels. The impact, the conversion, the selection and the display level. To navigate within these different levels, press the respective keys. If you need results in other hardness scales such as Vickers, Brinell, Rockwell or Shaw, the Ecotip Piccolo can perform the required conversions. Enter the conversion scale menu level by pressing the down key. If you press the right key, the instrument displays the different hardness scales. Select the required hardness scale by pressing the down key again. Select the appropriate material group by pressing the right or left key and confirm with the down key. If you choose Lieb, you can select L, which allows you to use the original uncorrected Lieb value. Otherwise, the value is always corrected for impact direction. Most measurements with the Ecotip Piccolo are performed in the average mode. This means that a series of impacts is performed and the instrument displays the average value of these impacts when completed. To enter the average mode, press the right button. If you need to delete a measurement during a series, press the left key. After the needed number of measurements, press the right key. The display shows average, standard deviation, range, minimum, maximum and other measurement parameters. Ideally, a measurement should be done on flat surfaces, but if your test piece is concave or convex, Prosec offers different support rings as accessories. 
If the surface is convex, as seen here, the support ring Z should be used. If the surface is concave, use the K support rings. Select the one that best matches the sample curvature. The Echo Tip Piccolo can be used either with the standard Impact Body D or with the Impact Body DL. The short D front section is used for most Lieb rebound testing. The longer DL slim front section is used where its narrow profile allows access to confined spaces and recessed surfaces. To enter the advanced menu for additional functions such as DL mode, press the down and the left key simultaneously for at least two seconds. The screen displays BOD, which stands for impact body. Then press the down key and select DL by pressing right. Press the down key to confirm. Use the plexiglass sleeve DL for better alignment. Samples lighter than 5 kg or 11 pounds can vibrate during measuring, which distorts test results. Lighter samples should always be supported by solid worktops. If the mass falls below 2 kg or 4.4 pounds, but still exceeds 0.1 kg or 0.2 pounds, coupling the sample to a larger mass, such as workbench, can help prevent vibrations. The surface of the sample and the solid support must be level, flat and smooth. The sample should be at least 3 mm or 0.12 inches thick. Apply a thin layer of coupling paste to the contact surface of the sample. Press the sample firmly against the support and rub it in a circular motion. Perform the measurement as usual. However, the impact must be carried out perpendicular to the coupled surface. The Echo Tip Piccolo comes with the data analysis software PicoLink. After launching the software, please click the Echo Tip Piccolo icon on the top left to connect to the instrument and transfer the measurement data. All the measurements that were taken with the Echo Tip Piccolo are now displayed. You can expand the view by clicking on the plus. Here you can see the details of your measurement series. Most of the functions like save, open and print work the same way as with any other program. PicoLink also allows you to easily convert your test results to other hardness scales. Data can be exported by using copy or export. You can delete all the measurements by clicking the X symbol. To make sure that your instrument firmware and PicoLink software are up to date, you can click on the globe symbol to update through the internet. Echo Tip Piccolo devices can be controlled remotely through the instrument graphic with the buttons on the screen. To ensure proper functioning of the instrument, please clean the impact body regularly with isopropanol or acetone. It is also recommended to use the supplied brush to clean the impact device. In addition, have the device calibrated by an authorized ProSec service center once a year. Please make sure to keep the test block clean. Put the sticker back on after you have finished measuring. If you experience problems with the operation of the instrument, please perform a reboot by pressing all three keys simultaneously for at least two seconds. If the battery needs to be charged, the display shows battery low. We hope you enjoy working with Echo Tip Piccolo. For technical information or applied standards or any other questions, please contact your local ProSec representative or visit our website at www.prosec.com.